Hello, my beautiful fountain friends. Welcome to Creepy Noobs. I am Count Chocula, and we got ink. Ink to talk about. This is an ink that I have been excited for since I heard that it was a thing. This is Pelican Edelstein's Ink of the Year for 2020, which is Moonstone. I have received this as an incredibly wonderful, amazing gift from an amazingly wonderful, beautiful pen friend. And that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. It comes in this 50 milliliter bottle that we'll take a look at right now. All right. So it's got the Pelican logo on the top of the cap. It's got these foam squares. And just boop, bloop the foam. Foam bloops everywhere. So this is my first ever bottle of Pelican ink. I have never had one before. It's my first bottle of Pelican ink. Um, so let's take a closer look at that. Get autofocus turned on. There we go. Yeah. Oh my god, it's already got my fingerprints on it. I've washed my hands like 850 bajillion times. Ugh. But look, um, it's got these awesome contours. There you go. You can kind of see there. And then there. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, crystal clear glass bottle. It's just amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Oh my god. Yes. Awesome. Oh, awesome. The cap is really nice. It's got a really fantastic wide mouth. It's a little short. I'll give it that. Um, but I mean... It's about the same as the old sailor bottles. So, yeah. Hey, it's cool. I'm it, I'm sure it'll be fine. So there we go. Bing, bang, boom. Let's get this water part done. Doot, doot. This is the only one we're doing today. So, this video is going to be not 30 minutes long. So, hooray. <laughs> if you can't stand that. Um, but I figured this would be something that people want to see. It just came out. Like, uh, it's just... I don't know. Get hype. Get hype. I don't know. I would want to see swatches of this if if I didn't already have it. So there we go. Oh, shit. Do I put Pelican or Edelstein at the top? Pelican. Oh, that was a bad idea. Why have I done that? Whatever. Yay! Pretty. Ooh, we should zoom. Pretty good idea. Cool stuff. Oh, what? Autofocus. Damn it. I keep forgetting that I don't have to, like, focus on every little thing at every little second from now on. It's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing, amazing grace. I think it'll look better if we do, oh shit, I smeared it, god damn it. It's fine, it's fine, still working out the kinks, still kinking out the works. The works are kinky. This gray is beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. I am so excited to write with this. Oh, God, it's perfect. Because in some of the swatches I've seen online, it looks a little cool. But it's really not. It's incredibly, it's very neutral. It does kind of the same thing that, um, have you ever had Kaviko Smoky Gray? It's kind of like that, where it's gray, but it's got, like, that those blue hints. That's not dry yet, so that's looking weird. Um, but, like, the gray, the green, and, like, yellow, kind of gold, and, like, little, like, bluey-purple undertones. It's very nice. Nice and complex. It's great. I'm going to throw some over here. Nice little patch over there for patches. My biggest fan. So, yay, yay. I can't believe I made that last five minutes. <laughs> Ramblow.
Ramblo. It's like Rambo, but pens. Rambling. <laughs> it's fine. I'm fine. We're fine. It's fine. So while this dries, I figured... Well, let's get up there. Yes! God, it is such a pretty color. Look at those halos. The writing. And just, oh my God. It's stunning. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. I would already, already recommend it, and I haven't even written with it yet. But we're going to write with it right now. <sighs> Set that off to the side, too. Boom. Whoa, exposure levels. Can you not? Thank you. Boom. All right. So we'll write with this on my beautiful, prized, incredibly wonderful, amazing um, adjectives. Midori MD cotton paper. Because I just, I love the way this paper shows off ink. It seems like it's nice and wet, too. I'm not having any troubles getting it out of this glass nib. I mean, normally I don't. Most things, but sometimes it can be a teensy bit of a hassle. Scrubby there. Oh, that's so pretty. It is so pretty. I can't even begin. Oh. Yes. Oh my god, I love grays like this. It's kind of, it might be hard to see it, because these kind of colors are always not easy to photograph accurately. Um, it's got kind of like a greeny undertone, as opposed to like a blue, or like a purple, something like that. So let's get that up close. Shading is stunning. It's not a super shader, but it, it does have really nice shading. Ah, there, that's much better. Oh my god, it's so incredible. All right. So there it is um, in writing on that paper. And here is the 99.9% .9 dried coloring card. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ink porn for all of my friends. Because you're all of my friends. And you should get ink porn from me. Uh, I love the texture of the coloring card's paper. It's just... Uh, I love... I just love everything it does. Mm -hmm. You do this for another 10 minutes. <laughs> I can meet my quota. <laughs> but no, seriously, this is a really pretty ink. Beautiful color gray. I love it so much. And, um, so yeah, that's that. I don't really have anything else to say about it. But something I do have things to say about it. All right, so next month is May, okay? And that has 31 days. So I am going to be doing a 31 inks, 31 days kind of thing. Because if there's anything us goth kids are good at it, it's writing shitty melodramatic poetry and, like, 
being contrarians for the sake of being contrarians. It's like our thing. We do it. Um, so yeah, that's a thing I'm going to be doing next month. I'm going to pick new ink every day. I'm going to like, I have a calendar on Midori MD cotton paper that I'm going to paint on. Uh, I have a Hobonichi cousin Avec right here that I'll do some like scribblies in. Is it zoomed out? Okay. So I have like a whole month of May to do that. It's A5 size, so it's going to be a little big. But I'm sure I can make it work. I'm, I might only even like do half the page or whatever. But yeah, it's going to be a really good time. It's going to be a really good time. Also, I'm going to be doing a little like art card. Kind of doodle with it. And I don't care how much it sucks. I'm going to do it anyway and I'm going to show it to everybody. It's going to be a thing. It's going to be a thing. It's going to be a thing of thinginess. And now that I've said that, I actually kind of have to do it now. And that's not something. <laughs> it's like shit. Now there's pressure involved. I don't like it. 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 But I'm going to love it. It's going to be great. And I think maybe because, you know, I can't stop talking or get my shit together ever. Another ink that was recently sent to me by a pen friend that this reminds me of is Alami Crystal Agate. They are very similar colors. Agate's a little bit more green, but they're, if you have one, you don't need the other necessarily. The Pelican's a little bit lighter too. So you could tell they're different, but they have the same vibe. It's the same kind of thing going on. I don't know if I have any gray inks that are as close. As those two. Here's Color vs. Matter, which is my absolute favorite ink of all time. It's definitely cooler. Not as warm. Um, Dye Mine Regular Gray. It's way darker. Totally different color. Oh, here's Kaveco Smoky Gray that I was talking about before. See, it's got the same kind of things underneath. Smoky Gray is way lighter. And Graphone Fabric Castell Stone Gray, which is way darker. Yes. Um, fuck. Uh, see, I, I knew I couldn't make a video under 10 minutes. It's just not a thing that I can do. But yeah, I don't really have anything else that's it's just like this. Stipula Calamo Dark Gray isn't too far off. It's warmer. And I think it's prettier, but... They're both very beautiful. Very beautiful colors. I love them so, so much. Gray is my favorite color for ink. Gray and pink. If I had to get rid of every ink in my collection, with the exception of two colors, it would be gray and pink. I just love them so much. It's amazing. So yeah, that was fun. I hope you had fun. This was fun. This is Pelican Edelstein Moonstone. Um... Ink of the year 2020, happy fun times. I hope they come out with an M200 because that would be really pretty. I love you, bye.